you know, what you're talking about, and I appreciate what you're saying, is mindset. You know, in, in the safety world, we talk about conditions and behaviors. And you talk about, you know, unsafe conditions. And those are the things that we look for when we're doing our walk-arounds. We're looking for unsafe conditions or we're looking for violations. And I can find those, I can fix those, and I can figure out why they're happening and maybe try to intervene in that. Unsafe behaviors, you, you see guys doing things unsafely, and we have to ask ourselves, why are they doing that? Maybe, maybe the training was inadequate. Maybe we haven't developed good procedures and we haven't, you know, we haven't explained the procedures correctly or we, you know, there's a deficiency or maybe we don't have a procedure. And so they work unsafe, you know, they work unsafely or maybe they behave unsafely based on that standard. And then there's the mindset piece. And that's the piece that I think we should be working on. The mindset of coming to work and working safely. Okay. I may not be able to be in compliance all the time, but I'm going to work safely. And I, I talk to people like this all the time, right? Just, we have to change that mindset that it's okay to work safely. I think there are times when our ego gets in the way. No, man. And we don't want to There's be... no egos in construction. Well, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> let's talk about industry. That was, you know, those other guys that, yeah. you know, um, we, we let our ego get in the way, you know, good or bad. You know, sometimes I, I know better, you know, I'm, I don't tell me how to do my job. Or sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't want to look like an idiot in front of my boss. Whatever that ego piece is can lead to these unsafe behaviors. But man, if we can affect mindset, and that's what you're talking about, right. I'm going to do the best I can. I want to learn how to work safely. I want to do the best I can and you know, work as safely as possible. I tell this story. I've got a dog, okay? And my dog hates my neighbor. So I go take my dog for a walk. The dog barks at the neighbor, okay? Now, I can modify that behavior. I can put a shock collar on him. When he barks at the neighbor, I can zap him. He shuts up, mm -hmm. but he still hates the neighbor, right. right? If I can take him next door and introduce him to the neighbor, maybe the neighbor gives him a treat, scratches his stomach. Okay, the neighbor's not so bad. I can change the mindset, and it's different. We can, we can force guys to behave the way we want to. You know, you discipline them, you send them home without pay, whatever it is, you cut them loose. But it didn't change the mindset. Somehow we have to get them to believe that working safely is important and that they can do it and engage them in that process. And that leads to the culture you're talking about. <laughs>